welcome to the PC Machine Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is the free software series. Now, for those of you who find yourselves in the situation where you need to connect to a friend, family, or loved one's computer to help them out, I have a great tool for you today called TeamViewer. It takes two steps. They just need to open it up and tell you a code and connect to it, and you'll be good to go. Now, of course, TeamViewer can be downloaded at my website at pcmichiana.com slash downloads. You can, of course, Google it as well. I keep it in the bottom right-hand corner under the free software tools section. It says TeamViewer 4, but it will actually link you to the most recent download, which is actually TeamViewer 5. Just select it and download it, and I'm going to run you through the installation here real quick. Now, you'll notice it's actually a really small file, only about 3 megabytes, which is really nice because it's lightweight. Just go to wherever you downloaded it to and select it to open it. Go to Run to actually run the installer. Once the installer comes up, I'm going to have it on install my old version and reinstall the new one. You can also choose to just run it if you don't want to actually have them install it. Great thing to tell whoever you're connecting to on their computer because they don't even need to install it on their computer for you to connect. So then click next. Of course, this is very important. You have to say whether you're using it for personal or commercial use or not. Legally, you're not supposed to use this software for commercial or company use, which means you can't charge them to use it. But if you're going to use it for personal use, connect to a friend, family, or loved one's computer to help them out real quick, you can use it free of charge. It is the full version. Go ahead and click next. And of course, you need to read over the licensing agreement and accept it and click next again. And I'm going to do normal installation and not start automatically with Windows and click next. And I want full access to the computer. You can also do confirm all. If they're uncomfortable with you connecting to their computer, you have them install it this way. That way they have to confirm whether you're allowed to do certain things or not. I'm going to go ahead and do full access and click next and it'll install the software. Now the interface for TeamViewer is actually very intuitive. You have two things going on here. The create a session will let you connect to somebody else. The wait for session is what the information they're going to need to give you for you to connect to them. So this software is open on both ends, the person you want to connect to's and yours. I have actually a configuration set up here so that I can show you how it works. I set up my computer downstairs with the following ID. Don't worry, it's changed and random. You will not be able to use this connect to my computer. But I'll go ahead and type in the ID, then you just click connect to partner. Then it prompts you for the password, which is, of course, this four-digit key, and mine was 3234. And I'll click Log On, and instantly I'll be redirected to my desktop. See how quick that was? And now I can do anything on my Windows 7 computer downstairs that I wasn't doing. And that's essentially the greatest thing about TeamViewer. Notice how easy it was to use. I just needed to install it, or not even install it, just run it, and then give that code to the person I want to connect to my computer. Now it's completely secure because while I'm doing something on my other computer, that person sees everything that I am doing, and at any point in time, in the bottom right hand corner in their task manager, they can actually kick me off. So they have complete control over the session, and they can also, as usual, set it up to prompt them to allow, you, allow them to basically approve of any functions you're going to be doing. But that's essentially all there is to TeamViewer. It's an excellent piece of software. You'll really like it. It's very easy to use, which is great for friends, families, and loved ones who aren't good with computers. They just need to open it and give you the ID and password. That's all there is to this episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe.